Yes, it's Financial Freedom Week, and for nothing else, this is the week to have breakthrough. And I trust that you're going to gain tremendous insight as we share this gem. But before I do, I want to remind you that we have four parts to this year's theme. And the first is about breaking free from bondage. Then we're going to take a look at breaking through those imaginary barriers. Thirdly, we're going to take a look at breaking out the box and finally, the greatest of them all, breaking into your promised land. So far, we've taken a look at breaking free, perfect imperfection, belief battlefield, cunning critics, rising above, be controlled, and this week is, that's right, financial freedom. Everyone is born financially free. Most choose to be enslaved by debt instead. Financial freedom are two words indebted people frequently use to describe their golden key to success. It's as if debt has been imposed on them and was never a personal choice. Financial freedom is not a measure of the amount of money in the bank, but rather a measure of the extent to which money controls our life and the decisions we make for our future. Debt is driven by an overwhelming desire to impress others. It results in the creation of a costly facade of conformity that slowly but surely erodes our uniqueness. Financial freedom is not something to be earned. It is something to be restored. The habits that create debt do not produce wealth. There is no such thing as good debt, no matter how convincing your financial advisor's argument. Borrow and be enslaved. Save and be set free. Wow, what an exciting gem. I want you to go and consider this question, and that is, what are the main debt drivers that enslave people? What causes people to go into debt? And what are the alternatives to debt? There are many, and I trust that as you meet at your MAP Cafe this week, you will seek answers to these questions because everyone has been affected by debt at some point or might find themselves in debt right this minute. There are two words for me that sum up most people's goals, and I only realized this after seven or eight years of taking people through the goal-setting process. If I did take all of their goals and put it into a big pot, stirred the pot, and pulled out just two words to represent all their goals, those two words would be these, financial freedom. You see, we've grown up in a society that everything is dependent on money. Money, money, money. If I don't have the money, I cannot access certain things. But I want to tell you today that if you believe that money is the answer to everything, you've lost the, the solution to your problem. What we fail to accept is that debt is self-imposed. It is a personal choice. Nobody put it on you. You decided. You signed the dotted line. And although it is so quick to get into debt, you can sign a check for a million dollars today or a contract for a million dollar home and for the next 20 years of your life you will enslave yourself to pay back that debt. In reality you begin to work for the financial institution. Financial freedom is simply being free from the control of money. It's when you make your decisions you don't first think about how much it's going to cost. You look at the value of something and you invest in the value. And I know that there are dreams that you have that you've put on hold right now simply because you do not have the financial means to access those dreams. I want to tell you that every gift and talent you've been given has equipped you to take the next step. Take the next step. Money will follow the picture as we've discussed before. It's time for you and I to get out of debt. I call it the good plan. It is so important and appears on so many people's goal sheets as one of the obstacles that we've put together an app. It's called the Good Plan app. So if you go and visit goodplan.mapforlife.com, you'll be able to get yourself a copy of this app. And I pray that you'll use it and commit to debt-free life. And this way, you'll begin to create wealth, not only for yourself, but for the next generation and the third generation, which is what a good man does. This gem is something that you really need to share at a MAP Cafe. So send us an email and we'll provide you with a list of MAP Cafes that are available.
If you're not yet part of a map cafe, send your thoughts in writing to lifegems at mapforlife.com. Remember that you're most welcome to share this with your friends on Facebook. And if you haven't yet joined Map for Life, I'd encourage you to do so because every Monday we will send you a link to the latest video clip. You're also invited to partner with us and start a map club in your town or city and get, in, get connected with some other people and begin to discuss these issues which no one's talking about. We will provide you with the material. You just get it started. And then, before I leave you, I want to remind you that this world will be a better place when you begin to make a purposeful difference, not only in your own life, but through the lives of others. So until we get together again, be mapped.